New Year's! I hope you're having an amazing day. Happy New Year's Eve. It is uh, Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you are having an amazing day. Um, I hope this year was well for all of you people. I know that this year, 2021, was a little different. Um, onward, upward, and next year is going to be better. Let's hope. <laughs> so with that, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the love, the support this year that you've given me. Um, I've got a lot of new members on my page, my page, my YouTube channel. I want to welcome you all. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's. Um, I'm going to get into, I did a Boxing Day shop. So we're going to do a little bit of a haul. And then I am going to do a cloud pour. I've never done one. Purchase the stuff. And I hope it turns out because you're going to experiment with me. But first of all, we're going to get into this haul I got. Various different stores. We first of all went to Michael's, of course, and they have a lot of their Christmas stuff is 70% off, which is crazy. So they had these little bit lights. I'm gonna show you them. I'm gonna turn them on first. They were um, normally 20 bucks. I got them for three something, but look at these. Are you ready? Look at these. They have little Christmas trees in them, and it has three functions. This is fade, this is flash, and then this is the solid. Whoops, I turned it right off. Let me get it. Solid. I don't know if you can see. Little trees and snow. That's cute. I ended up, I got two of these. So for next year, we'll be doing some of those. And... I found this one as well and again it was the same price it was 20 bucks I got it for three something now this one goes is that not cool it's like little um, wire balls I couldn't think of the name <laughs> and then it flashes again and then it goes on solid but these ones are kind of cool because you can use these anytime because they're not really Christmas. They're just silver balls. So that's those. And then I was at, I'm just going to do all the lights while I've got, I'm going to take the batteries out of this one and put them in the other one. This one is adorable because this is what I thought I was getting with the other one and I was not. Um, I only had six batteries, so I have to switch them up. And don't leave them in. Take them out so that they don't ruin your thing because that's what will happen. This one's adorable. I found this one at a drugstore, which is quite humorous. Is that not cute? Look. And you ready? It's got little lights in between. Not sure if you can see. But that'll be adorable on a Christmas wreath for next year. Um, so that's those. I ended up buying I have projects in mind so I thought if I bought now I'm saving some money my friends so these these are just the four I think they're two and a half inch rounds it just says round plastic it doesn't say a, a an actual 25 25 of them these ones are plastic they're 29.99 I got them for $9.99, something ridiculous like that. So these will be for next season. I personally, um, this ball is like 20 years old, roughly. Um, they're glass, because when I was doing my toll painting, um, we would do these. I'm watching all these videos where people are doing you know, pours on top of these on the outside, and you gotta seal them, and you've gotta all that fun stuff. Mm -mm -mm. These are done on the inside, so I'm gonna do a video on how to do this. Obviously, not right now, but for next season. I prefer the glass balls. These ones, um, 
Again, at Michael's, we're on for 70% off. You get eight of this size, and they were $10.99, and I got them for 70% off, so they were like two something. I bought four boxes, so we'll be getting some videos of these, how to make these on the inside, not the outside. And that way you're not worrying about it scratching off and you don't have to seal them. Also from Michaels, I got, of course, which I'm going to use in today's video, satin enamel. Mm, this has been hard to buy, my friends. So I found one just in the middle of the aisle, nowhere near where it should have been. So I thought it was like an omen. It was meant to come to me. So anyways... I bought that and that one wasn't on sale so I used my 30% coupon remember to use coupons this one I got also it is a ribbon is that not the most adorable ribbon they were $12.99 I got them for three something and then this ribbon like again I'm a silver girl that is amazing and it was $12.99 for three something now I think that's Oh, no, two more things. These ones I used full price because I already used my coupon once. You can only use it once. So I purchased these are stencils. This one is a, like a dahlia or delight. Does it actually say what kind of flower? Probably not. But it's amazing flower. And it also has these ones with the bees and the... And, um, here I'll open it there's three stencils in one so if you're gonna buy make sure you get multiple ones because you get I had two picked out I had one picked out with butterflies and then I had this picked out and then I read it and realized that it had more than just that so it's got this one and you got the little bumblebees on that then it also I'm gonna flip the black behind the next one it also has foliage another different flower a dragonfly and a butterfly I had to think oh my goodness I'm getting old and then it had these so I thought these would be adorable on top of using haha <laughs> which I bought at another store textured paste so I'm gonna come over I'm gonna base coat something I'm gonna put textured on it and we're gonna go with that and I bought another one as well this one is um, like a Mandela what do you call it a Mandela and these are both folk art from Michaels and then I got this one I'm gonna I don't know why they wouldn't have put a piece of black behind that one because it would have shown up a little better if I bend down too, too far, my crown will fall off. All right, and then I got this one. So that's kind of cool. So I thought we that'll be a futurist, future video. And then these two I purchased. These are Dollar and Rowney. I purchased these at Walmart. Um, one is textured paste medium. The other one is mother of pearl structured gel. I'm gonna play. I thought that would be cool. And I also have Artist Loft, um, the textured stuff. But this was cool. They had these. This is Akiak wood. I'm saying it wrong, but I'm going to show you what it is. So you're not going to. So this was $19? No. $12.99, I think it was. At the, at, um, Walmart so I thought I would love to do because I have not done I've done a couple not on video I don't think but I've done a few um, geoid type where we're gonna put some resin on them and all that fun stuff so that my beautiful people is my sort of my boxing day shopping haul so with that I'm gonna get out of my work go to this beautiful dress take off the crown and we're gonna get into the working clothes and we're gonna do a cloud pour, a ring cloud pour. So with that, I wanna wish you all again a very merry 
Merry, happy, a very happy New Year's. Hope you're having fun tonight. And we don't go out. We're old fogies. We just sit and watch some movies. We do order Chinese food, but tonight I'm making it because I got to walk for Christmas. So with that, I'll see you guys when I get my working clothes on. I'll see you in a minute, guys. Hello, we are back. I have my working clothes on and we are going to try something new for me. I have been mixing. I was playing and I tried to do this in a Dutch pour form. It didn't work. So I've converted back to doing it just the way it should be because, you know, Sherry's got to try something different all the time. So we are going to do a cloud pour in a tree ring. I'm not into the, the pour in the rings and all that stuff, but I've really been wanting to try this for like a couple of years. I have had a hard time finding this and I refuse to pay the amount of money that you had to if you ordered it from Amazon or somewhere else. It's only $11.99 at Michael's, but Michael's never has it. I by chance went in the other day to do some Boxing Day shopping and there was one. It was like in, it was like it was like there for me it went, and it wasn't even where it was supposed to be. Really ironic. So I went back through my old videos that I had been watching to mix all of this and I kept going back. I I did a few other, you know, I watched a few other people, but I kept going back to the original person that I was watching. Her name is Melly D Art. Amazing. She's got some amazing work. And her mix was I'll link her video in the description box to start with. Now her mix was you take 50-50. So you take half like one part um, of the satin enamel and she was using the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. Now I know people are having issues with this one because of the Dutch pour. It's, it's crazy cells and blah blah blah. I mixed it up with this. This one is the 2019 so I don't know. Maybe that's why it didn't work properly for me for the Dutch pour. I scraped it as you can see on the bottom of my mat. So she mixes it with, so one part paint. So what I did is I, I did one of these with this, one of these with the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, and then she adds a splash of the pouring medium. Artist, or this one's Liquid X. I had to go buy that. But she also says that if you have Floetrol, you can use Floetrol instead of that, or just water. The main ingredient in it is as long as you have this, you are going to get the effect, she says. So I've decided she has come across and said that um, Artist Loft doesn't react well with it. Amsterdam Paints doesn't react well with it. She also had that Golden Fluid does not react well with it. The one that she finds that works the best, you get the very vivid lines. It's not all um, muted, are the Liquid X Basics. And it's basically not because it's a good pain, it's a bad pain, it's all the chemistry effect. So with that, I mixed up my Liquid X Basics. This one is Naphthol Crimson. This one is Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. And we're going to go for some fire and ice. This one is cadmium red light hue. So it's basically orange, red, and yellow. Now, like I said before, I'm not into the doing the, the ring pours. So I'm hoping I got the consistency right for the ring pour. <laughs> With my regular paints, I'm going all over and I apologize. With the regular paints, I just did... One part paint, two part Floetrol, and a little bit of water so that they're all the same consistency. I'm going to do this on a, just because I'm playing around, this is a dollar store round. It cost me $3.50. It is a 10 inch. And from what I see, the rounds are the easiest ones to do the ring pour on because you can just circle it and circle it and you don't lose your composition. So that was the thoughts behind this. So I wasn't having two things working against me. Um, 
I'm just going through my little list that I had here. So everything should be the same consistency. As I did with when I mix my other paints, I'm going to show you what I do. I put, this is a piece of paper, obviously, piece of paper. I'm going to put a drop of each paint. I'm going to go this way so I don't get it on the rings. Drop of each paint. And this is how I test to make sure that all my Dutch pour paints are the same text, same consistency. Put them in the same spot. Don't start one up here and one down here, and then you wonder why they're not flowing the same. Now these are all mixed the same. Now metallics, you may have to add a bit more water or whatever you're using. So these are my three color paints, and this one here is my cloud mix. And I'm going to put a little bit there. And what you do to make sure they're all the same, I'm going to show you, you tip it. Now they were all the same. I may add a little bit of water to these two, and we should be good to go. Here, we'll do that since I've already got the water ready to go. So that would be the red, just a splash and the orange uh, splash. All right, glad I left my little cups laying around. Like a messy Marvin today. A true artist is messy, my friends. Don't ever let anyone tell you that, any different. So, oh, I'm nervous because I've never really done this. I was getting a pucker on this, so I don't want that. So what I, I was going to use this as a stand. <laughs> I'm going to pull out the old faithful. This is what I used to do all my pores on. Look at that. Isn't that crusty? So I'm going to put that on there, and that way I know I'm not going to have that center being bulged up so that I, it'll be easier. So she suggests to layer your cups with the three colors, the white the three colors, the white, and then finish it off with all of these other colors because what's going to come out first will be your, let's do red, yellow, orange, and red. So what will come out last is your pillow paint, basically. So I do that. We will do orange. Sorry, I was going to layer it different. We'll do orange. And this might be too thin. Like I said, I'm not into the the tree rings and all that stuff so we're gonna give it a go if it don't work it is what it is my friends but I thought I'd throw the camera on so in case it did it would be good so we're gonna pour white ooh and then we'll do this one more time it doesn't look to be as thick as it should be in my opinion but who am I to say And then some more of the white. And then I'm just going to throw the rest of it in. Because like I said, this is going to be the pillow pillow paint. We're just going to pour the rest in. And I know it's a lot for this canvas probably. There we go. Okay. Wish me luck, cross your fingers, toes, and eyes. Because, well, maybe not your eyes, because then you won't be able to see me make a mistake. All right. Straight down until I start seeing the white come out. And I have a feeling that this is not thick enough. And I do know that's not thick enough. <laughs> but you'll see. Well, it might work. It might not. We're just going to circle around. Just 
slow. Yeah, this is really thin. And bring it back to the middle. I think we have some success. That's actually kind of cool. It, and again, I know that that paint was extremely thin, so... I'm impressed. This is awesome. Oh my, my. My brother would like this painting. He is infatuated with a band, and this is the colors of <laughs> their um, their one cover that he likes, their um, album cover. Well, I'm impressed. I wasn't sure, and look at that, is coming up like crazy. Now I know the more you stretch, the more the cells are going to come. But there, it's not very white, isn't it? Awesome. I'm going to let it do its thing while I um, wipe off my hands. And I'm impressed. I might do another batch. I only mixed up a little bit of that white because I wasn't sure. And I, um, I think that turned out actually pretty cool. It's going to just keep on creating. That's the fun part. Oh, and the, it's getting whiter, so that's good. I'm just going to let it sit, guys. You can... I'm not going to talk because I'm going to let it lops. And I... You'll never hear this from me very often. I will try and do a, a time lapse to see how this um, creates the amazing little cells look at I, that is just amazing that's pretty cool i might just go like this i don't know i want to pull that off a little bit but we're gonna leave it because i like the orange all right we're gonna leave it i'm gonna leave you guys watching it and hopefully i can figure out the time lapse and again like i said i'm gonna put everything in the description box what I did and I will link the amazing um, Melly D I will link her um, her page if any of you guys do this you will know who she is because she's actually pretty good so with that I'm gonna close my close my mouth walk away and I will be back guys do I torch it I know I told you I was going to be quiet. Let's torch it just a little. There, okay. Now I'm going to be quiet.
Well, my friends, it didn't quite dry like I wanted it to. It's still quite wet, but I am getting cracks in it in some spots. Maybe not. It just looks like there's, I don't know if you can see here, there's cracks kind of here. Is it called crazing? Is that what the word is? I looked for um, suggestions I, in the, through the videos I've been watching. I looked for, um, is it GAC 8? hundred um no actually for some reason the michaels doesn't carry it they had gac um 900 which is not the same thing so i'm gonna have to purchase some somewhere i hate buying all these extra things and i think it might be too because like i said there was a lot of paint on there i probably needed to go a little thinner with my coats of paint so with that it did change um not overly impressed it didn't stay like the nice circles that are here like the pearly shapes it kind of went weird but you know it is what it is it's my first attempt so we will be practicing some more together and yeah so with that i hope you have a wonderful new year's eve again i want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for the love the support that you've given me over this year. Um, I've gone through quite a few changes in my uh, workplace and all my other stuff. So my life's been a little bit different this year. So thank you for sticking it out with me. Um, with that, I'm gonna get right into my spiel. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that bell up there for notifications. And in my description box, I have the links to my Facebook page. I have the links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. I also have the links to where to purchase Triart Liquid Glass, where to purchase Crystal Resin, where to uh, purchase, um, I got Fundy Molds and a, sorry, and a discount code also. And I have a link to um, Let's Resin, and I have a discount code as well. It is Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. So go check out that site. And also the two amazing Lores distributors, the most amazing Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American Lores distributor, and my Glitter Guru. Um, my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10. Go check out her website. Start the year off with some new stuff. And my PayPal link is there. So with that, my friends, I will see you in the new year. Love you guys. Bye.